Hey guys, we're going to do another unboxing here of a hot toy that just arrived. This is the Back to the Future 2 Marty McFly. This is also the special edition, and I'm just trying to remember here what the special edition aspect of it is, so I'm just looking at my phone here. Um, he says he's currently on he's currently on pre-order, which is strange because I it's already been paid for, and uh, he has now already shipped. Let's check the contents here. Uh, expected to be released January 2018. Let's see here. I'm only looking because I can't remember what the exclusive was. Accessories. Exclusive arcade game accessory. Arcade gun accessory. I guess that is the exclusive. So needless to say, uh, to make a long story short, uh, at the time that I ordered the Harley Quinn or I had ordered Harley Quinn and Back to the Future 2 Marty McFly at two different time periods. And uh, it just indicated that the last flex payment was paid. Bingo, bango, it got paid, and then it said it was going to be shipped. And then, lo and behold, I went to the post office, and they were already there. So, like I said with the Harley Quinn video, they're really fast when it comes to shipping stuff. So, anyways, the Harley Quinn arrived. We already did an unboxing of her. We're going to do an unboxing here of the Back to the Future 2 Marty McFly. Take him out of the mailer box. And put that right there. So I really don't know why it says currently on pre-order. Nonetheless, though. Uh, so we're going to do an unboxing here, and then the main review is going to come later. I know a couple of people have said, well, why, why don't you just do the review right off the bat? Because a lot of times with the reviewing, um, I have to do a couple of cuts, music, and all the editing and stuff like this. Uh, and I, I don't like to have stuff sitting too long which I'm guilty of doing this. I still haven't do, done the Armored Batman review yet. And at the time I were looking at this, I'd already shot the review of, of Ellen Ripley, but I just haven't had a chance to post it yet. So these unboxings give me a chance to kind of give you my initial thoughts of the figure. And then if you want to kind of come back and check the main review, we get a little bit more in depth into it. So that's why we like to do the unboxings just so I'm not too late with getting these stuff, these things looked at. Anyways, so we've got the Marty McFly Movie Master Series. This is MMS 379, a one six scale collectible figure. The fact that we've gotten ourselves a uh, one to one scale for these Hot Toys uh, DeLorean, I'm wondering if we're gonna get ourselves a one to one scale uh, DeLorean for Back to the Future 2, maybe with the, because I don't think, I, I can't even remember, because I didn't, I obviously didn't buy the DeLorean. It was just way too big. Even if I had had the money, which I didn't have the money, it was way too big to fit any sort of display in my house, so I didn't pick it up. But I'm wondering if it actually had the hovering option to it. Anyways, on the back, we've got Choking Hazard, small parts, not for children under three years of age, adult collectible, blah, 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 not a toy, recommended for ages 15 and up. The cast and crew responsible on the back. Well, that's not so much the case. Cast and crew responsible are on the inside box. Go ahead and take the flap off. And you've got your little Sideshow sticker at the top cor corner there for Sideshow exclusive. There you have the cast and crew responsible for making this fantastic piece. I was really looking forward to getting the Back to the Future 2 Marty. Really like the Back to the Future 1 Marty. Go ahead and take the insert out. And look at all the accessories one will get for it. So I guess this is the exclusive up here is the arcade gun. A couple of hands, I guess, to go with the fact that you're getting the arcade gun. I uh, got Blast from the Past bag with the Sports Almanac inside. Uh, it looks really good. Let's take this out. Nothing really on the other side. We can just put that over here. And we'll open up the contents. So this is just my initial first thought of Marty, because I haven't opened these guys up yet, so I wanted to kind of do this on camera for you guys. So let's grab first and foremost, here is the exclusive. The exclusive is the arcade gun right there. It's got a chain going on there. I love the kind of scratched off paint that they've applied to the, well, that I guess it should be a revolver. Revolver doesn't look like it has any working pieces to it, nor I suppose really should it anyways. It's an arcade gun. And then you've got two hands for holding the arcade gun. There's your exclusives. Put those right over there. Uh, see what else we have. Let's get some of the boring stuff out of the way. Additional pegs for the hands. 
and let's look at maybe the hoverboard next. Thought I pricked myself with the plastic a little bit, a little bit of a sharp edge. So we've got the footwear, the canister that houses the uh, the self lacing, automatic lacing shoes. Okay. I guess we could open this up too. Should have a knife really readily available, but okay. So let's open this up. Shoes would be inside. That looks nice. I like the way it opens and closes too. Looks like it's got some lights on the inside. Got footwear, and you got slightly translucent plastic on the outside there. That looks good. Of course, you got your hoverboard. Man, did I ever kick myself that I didn't get one of those hoverboards from Mattel. A couple of things, actually, I kicked myself that I didn't get. I think I just didn't have the... I didn't have the money available. I don't have the money available now, but... Man, I would have loved to have gone and picked up some of those... Uh, the Ghostbuster you know, replicas, like the Ghost Trap. Get the hoverboard. This kind of feels... See... This is kind of just my early thoughts of everything before we kind of, I spend a little bit more time looking at everything, but this feels cheap, the strap. It feels like the other end of Velcro. You know, one, one end of Velcro has the hooks, other end has the loops. Essentially, that's how Velcro works. But it feels like a strip of Velcro. It doesn't feel the most secure. We would have to go back and check the movie again to see if it actually looks like this in the movie. Hoverboard looks good. There's a little area where the handle would have been taken out. There's the back, there's the bottom of it. I don't know why I had to say that. Put a little sound effect in there. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. Of course, we have the Sports Almanac. Gray's Sports Almanac, 1950 to 2000. See if there's actually, there are stats in there. Not many pages, mind you. It looks like there's a total of four pages. I mean, it's it's a very, just a very thin, but it's good rep representation. And you've got the little bag, which I think opens. It should open. If it doesn't, I would be disappointed by that. Uh, let's see if I can actually open this here. Okay, so it does open. It's just a little harder to get it in there. Get my finger in there. So the almanac slides right inside. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then you've got Blast from the Past on the other side. to the side. Also got ourselves a newspaper. I can get my finger in there. Oh, newspaper has two parts. We've got gang jailed, hoverboard, rampage, destroys courthouse. Cholesterol may be cancer cure. Three injured when mom rehydrates pizza slices. I guess this would be the part of the newspaper that goes inside of that. This is USA Today for $2. That's not bad. Number one in the USA, 3 billion readers every day. Uh, okay, let's look at the bottle of Pepsi. Slightly translucent, but they've given it a slight, uh, if you can see it there, a slight brownish tint. So it looks like the bottle is clear. And the liquid is inside, uh, well, a brown, brown color for Pepsi. Doesn't nothing opens on it. It's just a, just a bottle of Pepsi. Marty also comes with a uh, his hat, and I was wondering how they were gonna do this. I just dropped the hat. Hold on a second. Ah, there we go. There we go. I was wondering how they were gonna do this because clearly the hat would not be able to fit Marty's head. So what they did was, it's a removable headpiece or hat hairpiece, and then the hat sits on top of that. 
The hat is uh, slightly soft, slightly a soft material, more denser up at the top here. It's got that rainbowing effect that I really like. And again, it just sits on his head, just like so. I don't really know how I will display Marty. Will I display him with or without the hat? Of course, we got the figure itself. We can take that out, take out these pesky plastic pieces. Oh, I despise these so much. I can just rip it off. I'm just going to rip them off onto the floor. Why not? There we go. Pockets are out. Take the plastic off his feet. That was that one stubborn piece. Okay, there's his shoes. The shoes, I don't, I don't know. The shoes aren't working as much for me here. They're okay, but they don't... I have to get, I'm going to, again, have to look at the source material, but I feel like the boots don't have nearly as much detail to them, the, the shoes, I should say. There's Marty's face. I wondered this when I saw images of him online. He's looking to the side, and I don't think there's the means to, obviously this isn't, isn't a deluxe figure. Let's see how his head comes off here. Oh, there we go. He's not a deluxe figure, so he doesn't have the means to properly, uh, you can't move his eyes. I wish his eyes were just straight forward instead of looking to the side. In case you were wondering though, let's put the hat hair on. There's Marty with still his eyes looking to the side. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, it's not a deal breaker to me by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, it's still a great looking piece. I don't know if I would opt to have his eyes facing to the side. Again, like it... Eh, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll warm up to it. I don't personally like the eyes looking to the one way. I wish they were just facing forward. Um, the rest of his outfit, he's got just a pair of blue jeans. Of course, he's got his self-drying jacket on there. Self-fitting jacket as well. Got a nice pattern work to it. Looks like it did in the movie. The only thing I would say, I'm, I'll only mention it one more time, and then we'll 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 put that we'll put that horse to, to sleep. I don't think that's I don't think that's the right phrase, but um, I don't like the eyes. I don't like the eyes facing the one way. There, I said it. I'm gonna say it once. That's it. I won't say it again. Promise. Promise. I won't say it uh, until the review. I'm I'm sure I'll say it in the review. Okay, so we've got the hook for the waist clip. Then for his ex for his display base, they gave him. Oh, he's also got the adjustable rod, which should be able to bend. Yes, it does. And for the display base, they opted to give him the uh, the pond or the water area that he tries to get across on the hoverboard, and yeah, it won't work. So yeah, I guess that that. That's not bad. I mean, I'm not going to display him with that. That's just way too big of a display base. Yeah, Marty McFly back to the feature two on the front. Of course, that pegs into the top. And hoverboard. We'll go, go, go across the water. But uh, it's too big of a display base. I would, again, I'd never use it. If I was to use it, I would probably say I don't know if I would go the route of the water. Some people might like that. I'm not crazy about it. It doesn't look that great. It looks like a distorted photo of water, which is really, it's baffling that sometimes Hot Toys can be so good at doing some things, and then other things you look at it and just like, guys, come on, like that's that just looks like a blurry distortion. It looks like a photo of water that you took on your computer and blew it up in the hopes that it would look like a really good wallpaper. And then you realize, mm, no, that's not working as wallpaper. Yeah, it really isn't. And it's certainly not working, I think, as a display base. I might be crazy, and I might be the only one that thinks that. I'm just saying I don't think I don't think it works. I don't think, I, I don't think it works. I'm going to see if I can get this back in the base here. I think I left out one accessory. Yes, I did. He also has his watch, which they've put inside, or they've put like a little felt or foam piece on the inside. I could put that on his wrist. Not really much different. I think it's the same watch that the first Marty McFly got. And I think that's it for accessories. 
That's that's all that's all you get. For Marty, for Back to the Future 2, that's about all I would really need Marty to have. He has this hoverboard. He has talking crucial things, the sports almanac. Maybe the Pepsi. That, that's about all I would have been happy to get. And of course the the hat which I'm happy that they did find a way to get around getting it on his head. Without the hat, it looks awkward. So you, obviously that's when you would want to switch out. Can this go the other way around? Can go, not really, no. Okay, so it just goes that way. Okay, so overall, overall opinion. First, first thoughts of Marty before we wrap up this video and eventually getting around to a main review of this guy. Initial thoughts of the figure, I like it. The flesh tone seems a little bit better than what we got with the first Marty McFly. The face sculpt still is good, still looks like Michael J. Fox. I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to... I already... Let's put that one to sleep. Put that one to... put it to bed. Put it to bed is what I was supposed to say. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah, overall, not a bad figure. I, I think it, it delivered exactly what I would want Marty to, to look like. Let's get the headpiece off, the hairpiece. Yeah, it delivers exactly what I would want Marty to look like. I think the hair might be a little too dark, but again, I'm going to look, I'm going to go, like I need really a reason to go and watch Back to the Future 2 again. No, I'm happy with it. Okay, I'll say it one more time. Other than the eyes, I'm happy with how this figure turned out, and uh, I'll definitely do a review of him soon. If you guys managed to pick this guy up for yourself, let me know down below what you guys initially think of this figure, or if you, even if you haven't had a chance to pick this guy up, let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think of Back to the Future 2 Marty. Like I said, I'm going to try to get the review of this gun, this guy done right away. Um, I just, it's so hard at times just to get as much, because there's always content coming out on this channel. Uh, as quickly as I want to try to get to looking at something like, for example, Marty here, I'm usually then bombasted with all this other stuff that I have to still review. So that's why I want to try to get these unboxing videos in there as well from time to time. Gives me a chance not to spend, I don't want to say not to spend as much time, but it allows me to get my initial thoughts of a figure done. And then I can go back later and do what I hope can be a little bit more of a polished video when we look at the actual review of this guy. So that's why we do the unboxings. Uh, again, guys, if you haven't had a chance, you have to hit that little subscribe button down below. Make sure you do so, as certainly more videos will be coming your way, and eventually the review of this guy will be coming your way as well. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.